It's midday, Thursday. Three islands making up this beautiful. to be here eventually we are days of action starting tomorrow at eight on Sunday and the action is all revved up three checks of Just have a look at who is going to be taking place in the Freestyle Open this year. So from the USA, we've got Blake Cullen, UAE, Ibrahim Alwadi, USA, Austin Crandall, Australia, Elise Brown, Al Samim. USA, Amber. Evans, Singapore, Kira Po, Guy diving from the FA. The Middle East. It's a free. Checks. Right, so each competitor has got three minutes, uh, so they can choose what they want. What speed the flyers are going to fly at, particularly if there are teams that haven't t trained in this tunnel previously. Yeah. So the air feels different in every tunnel. So with that three minutes, the competitors can choose. So they will do, as we'll see, yeah. um, and compulsory. Uh, they might see lights coming from judges, yep. uh, thumbs up from judges, but yeah, it's kind of a practice. Well, let's have a look at freestyle and see how it operates. So we do have some people already in the down. What's going on right now? If used to be in a team with two of the uh, two-way dynamic competitors. Doing a little bit of training. Uh, I know he's been training hard in Dubai. Yeah. Uh, so he's looking good. Good shot there. As we watch Saif. Freestyle junior category. So Saif is it uh, looks like this might be from his free routine. Exciting.
Bahrain here. Gravity over the next. The event and we have got the opening ceremony taking place this afternoon at five finding out what speed they're going to be using in this tunnel for a lot of these competitors a little bit of training time i've actually not cane factory always very nice flyer but i've actually not seen him train yet uh, so it's all quite new. Uh, they have I've got some nice head up spins. Uh, so these are the younger competitors. This is the junior category. Uh, a little bit later on, we will see the open category. Uh, adults yeah um, this year there are it's a nice shot there sure of the tunnel Emma so we might uh, they might be wanted to practice their entrance and exit feels like to fighters the air is not exactly constant just as you come through the door and these entrances and the exit uh, speed checks ah uh, so that's three minutes three we're going minutes. to get yeah so the free routines are one minute long yeah and each of the compulsory rounds are 45 seconds. So in theory, uh, should be able to, each competitor should be able to practice their free round uh, and their, both of the compulsory rounds as well. Uh, I spoke to one of the freestyle judges earlier and she was telling me that um, some of the competitors have already communicated with the driver. And when we say the driver, we mean the person who's controlling the wind. Uh, you can see, see them sitting to the left of the tunnel yeah. in a red t-shirt. Uh, some flyers have already spoken to the driver um, about possibly varying the speed within the speed setting time. So a lot of flyers, particularly in the open category, will be choosing to fly on one speed for their free routine and a different speed for their compulsories. As I said a little bit earlier, it's the first time showcasing to the world a lot of these new free routines. We've been quite fortunate here in the presenting team. Myself and Emma Matakola and Ray Ahmed and Leslie Gale have been here for the last couple of days and we've seen a lot of these teams, while well, the competitors train, especially some of these junior routines that are coming through and are absolutely breathtaking right at the top of the skill level available worldwide right now. But it's incredible, especially seeing the age of some of these competitors. They're so young. Yeah. Can you imagine if we'd have been flying like this when we were their age? I can't even fall like that <laughs> off a brick wall. <laughs> Leonid Stilival now from Russia. I was watching him in training yesterday. He's just doing a little check on the headphones there again. They're checking the music as well, making sure the music's going to be working. Let's have a look at our first glimpse of Leonid. I think it's the first time we've competed, well, we've commentated on him on the world stage, Emma. Yeah, I think I I've seen him in training a little bit. He looks like he's a very strong flyer, some really nice sort of side head up flying there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so just to give you a little more insight into the music rounds. So the competitors fly to music during the free rounds. They have uh, inbuilt music systems, uh, which fit into their suits headphones in their ears and then there's a transmitter uh, so it, the music is played both externally and in the competitor's ear as well now there's sort of two ways that the competitors can choose to do this they can either choose the music first and then choreograph the routine around the music 
uh, which means that the, the the music, you know, the music is heavily influencing the moves that the yep. flyers choose. Um, or some competitors choose to, well, they compose their routine, yep. begin to fly their routine, and then they choose a piece of music uh, that they feel matches the routine. You can fight just here in the background the music there from his routine did you just catch no. it that kind of russian feel it was, it was just in the background it must be played out there quite low at the moment to the uh, to the audience but it is sometimes really surprising the music choices we've had some great ones sometimes in competition regan and i are up and dancing we're really enjoying it should we have a listen to the music maybe oh, Emma? i think that would be really yeah, nice come on, let's have a let's have a little check check it out a little bit just to give you a glimpse, people watching back home. Big shout out to my good friend Peter Harry Sutton watching down in Australia. Did a great job emceeing the iconic battle in four way with Hayabusa and Airspeed with those final rounds and, of course, those new world records. Good to hear from you. Just received a message through now. If you are watching, you want to have a shout out, send us a message through on all the normal channels. Hashtag WCIS. 2018. Get your pictures posted wherever you may be in the world. There's a hashtag on screen now. Great job from the Epitech team. Flown in from the UK to bring the live stream to us. The hashtag there, WCIS 2018. Cameras all over. We even got the free roaming camera as well, giving the entrance and exits. It's going to be incredible four days. Emma, here we are at the start with a blank canvas an open story and as the competition goes on we start filling in the details of who is doing what currently there just getting herself set one year ago today in her home country in Montreal for the second world championships of indoor skydiving first time she broke out onto the worldwide scene been training in Madrid with the MAD company of flyers Coralie Bourdieu Canada Emma. So when you say MAD, that's the Modern Aerial Dance Company, modern isn't it? Modern Aerial Dance, um, yes. Some of their videos are, well, all of their videos are absolutely incredible. They are. Brilliant to see. So Coralie from Canada here. So I actually interviewed Coralie. She's a, she is a really lovely girl. Yeah. Age 15. She's a bit wise beyond her years. Yes. She's very mature and her flying style is really beautiful. So a big influence for Coralie is Inca. Yeah. There's an incredible array of talent, Emma. We've been commentating now on indoor flying for a few years and we've seen some of these new competitors coming in in the junior ranks and Within one competition, the standard is world-class in the top five. Oh, every absolutely, time. Regan. There are some really strong flyers here. And, you know, the young flyers are, are getting stronger and stronger. And from one competition to the next, you know, we can see a huge difference. The judges can see a huge difference. Uh, it's not going to be long before these young competitors are competing in the open category. So open category is for all flyers. Junior is specifically for the young. Up ready for their first show here to the world. I wonder if they're aware that we are actually now on the live stream in these speed checks it's the first time the public is seeing that fly. I wonder if there's any kind of awareness of that from these competitors. I'm not sure if they know. I think their heads are so strongly in the game, Regan, mm. that I'm not sure that they're aware. So the next three flyers that you've just mentioned, uh, those three flyers, Mateo, Kaylee, and Ishen, they are all... So this is, once they've come out of this speed setting round, we will go into the freestyle open. Uh, and then we will be going into the two-way dynamic. So these flyers. Again, but in two-way dynamic. 
Yeah, are we going to take the um, broadcast through into the two-way? Are we just doing a freestyle, I think, maybe? Let's have a look at the timings. Yeah, I think we should do. Um, Uh, we're talking to Elliot, he was saying we've got five teams on the speed rounds within one second of each other. No, it's, I mean, we, 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 we've seen these competitions before, we've been on the edge of our seats. These competitions are so close. Yeah. Uh, up next, we've got Mateo. So, as you just mentioned, Elliot, Elliot and Mateo are teammates in the two-way dynamic. Good afternoon, welcome to Bahrain. This is the FEI third World Cup of indoor skydiving, and we're starting off with the speed check rounds. We are not into the competition yet, but we wanted to give you a glimpse, a look at just what is going on here. Big village has been built up around this location, around Gravity Indoor Skydiving, with food vendors and creeping area, chill out area for the athletes, and a new big dome, air conditioned dome, where we're doing the opening ceremony. At 5 p.m. today. So some really lovely smooth flying from Mateo. Nice look at those tools there. So from a lot of the competitors seeing these Good in control back loops right down the center of the pike. Emma, Rebecca Bradley is watching from Spain. Hello, Rebecca. She'll be working, but she's watching us as well. I'm <laughs> sure she's doing some work as well. Morning, uh, Rebecca. Multitasking. So we just saw Mateo go into the tunnel there. He went to the driver, who is the person in control of the wind speed yeah. on the left of the tunnel. Uh, he went in and he gave him a hand signal. So this is what I was saying before. Some of the competitors have already communicated with the driver about having a change of speed. So their free routine will be set on one speed, one wind speed. Latimer over in uh, Virginia, who's watched. Imperial Bravo from Windor is watching, giving us a big wave. Hello, guys. Good morning to you. Mateo, 14 years old from France. Beautiful, beautiful flying. So on the screen there, the competitors can see. So to the left, next to where the driver is, the competitors can see they have their name displayed and they have the amount of time remaining. So they know how much time they've got left to practice. So this is practicing compulsory, practicing free rounds. Oh, we've got a close up there. So Mateo is on 32 seconds which is the amount of time he's got left to work. So man is space lab there. Mateo is working on his compulsory round at the moment. Nice, Thomas Flair. Good job, Mateo. Back in there now. Just on his time. And we see the lights flashing there, Regan. And that signifies time to leave the tunnel let the next flyer in <laughs> he's having none of that right <laughs> now there we go a few more seconds says Matteo I'm not ready yet it's been a packed house this tunnel has been flying since we got here I don't think it's been switched off yet Emma no I don't think it has it's been running 24 hours a day it's absolutely incredible the gravity staff are machines Superb, beautiful, light, airy tunnel area. USA, Kayla Wittenberg, thumbs up to the driver. 712. Iconic flyer. More speed, Emma. A little bit more. <laughs> you can see her pointing upwards. More, more. So, as well, we can see the time displayed on the clock. We also see the name. Uh, we need, she's wanting more speed. It looks like she might be checking her music pack. Can't she, quite I think hear she's it. saying she can't hear her music, but this. Uh, Kaylee's done quite a lot of training here already. Uh, we've been lucky enough to sneaky peek a bit of the free routine yeah. already. She is a force to be reckoned with, this girl. She's indeed. 
And she's in. Look at this straight into power. She's beautiful. She's graceful. Uh, the other day, we were sort of comparing her flying to the style of Ben Roan. Right. Uh, who I believe she may have had some, some coaching from Ben as well. No, I think Ben got coached by Mike Wittenberg. That's who a is Kaylee's dad. Yeah. So there's a connection here. Beautiful flyer, though. She's uh, she has a lot of power behind her moves. So the competitors will sometimes use the power of that airspeed to. Up. We've got the wide camera. Uh, sometimes it's hard to predict at the beginning whether the competitors are going to stay low, go higher up. So as you can see now, Regan, yeah. Kaylee's doing some side flying. Now that's hard enough, but she's doing it on both sides uh, with a rotation as well. It's really beautiful move. Side flying is so hot right now. A lot of side flyers we've got. I know. I think that's something we'll see in most of the routines, I guess. Yesterday during practice, we had Ben Roan in the center of the tunnel on his side. And then we had Amy and Coralie. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> yes, yeah. I mean, we say kids, Megan, but they're growing up really That's fast. Right. Whole new batch as well. It's just under the radar coming through, especially out in the Far East. The Chinese teams coming through, the Singapore young ones too, in the States as well, and the UK. You've got some new talent in the UK coming through, Emma. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Are really, really important. Nice Thomas Flair and head down split there. A little high five as she comes out the tunnel. Yeah. And Regan, who will our next competitor be? We've got Singapore and Ishan. Ishan Chu from Singapore, part of the... So it looks like she's wearing a different suit, actually. That doesn't look like the one she's going to be doing the two-way dynamic in, no. unless she's been training in a different suit. her trans hear the music. Uh, what's going to be really nice, Regan, is when we do finally So it looks like she's going to be beginning with her free routine. Interesting little uh, back loop in the door there. That no. was very nice. Wow, look at her speed changes. lot there some more, more side, side fly. I mean you can see she's fast yeah it's gonna be really exciting to watch the two-way dynamic as well I was watching from close up to the glass her and Kira when I arrived two days ago it I've seen them so many times in competition but seeing it live up in front of your face the speed is absolutely breathtaking the you the tunnel for the two-way lines going nowhere near the edges bam 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 it is absolutely stunning to see it live like that so she's got a lot of technical moves in there you shen bit of discussion having, having some kind of communication with the driver i think she might be struggling to hear her music these are all the niggly bits that we want to get sorted before the competition really starts so this is speed setting which is all about ironing out those technical difficulties getting right into the competition spirit getting yeah. their game game head on uh, it's the opportunity for the judges to begin seeing the routines the compulsory rounds you can see one of the judges uh, sitting on a beanbag to the left the picture left yes Tuck, double back loop. 
just the height as well during that back loop. Emma didn't lose a set. So that's one thing that we'll be looking for, keeping on level. So you can see one of the judges, as I mentioned before, sitting to the left of the tunnel on yeah. a beanbag. Now that judge is going to be looking at something called the center line, which is a yellow line straight down the middle of the tunnel. Uh, there is another line on the door. So those two lines lining up uh, shows the exact, it basically cuts the tunnel in half. Yeah. Uh, the judge will sit there and often with one eye closed, they will look down the center line to make sure that the flyer is bang right in the middle of the center line. We've had a lot of family and coaches of these teams during the last two days sat in that exact spot. Where they've been checking behind to look to flying to get that reference and to know your visualization of where exactly you want to be. It takes a little bit of time, doesn't it? Absolutely, it does. Oh, and now it looks like we've gone into the freestyle open speed. Really, really nice guy. He's got some power behind his flying. He's throwing those spins in. <laughs> Blake Cullen, USA. After that, should be Ibrahim Abdelwadi, UAE, lined up in the door. So one thing I did not just notice then, it sounded as if the wind speed went up. Yes. So with the smaller competitors, you know, the junior competitors, often the wind speed will be lower uh, as the, you know, the, the heavier competitors will need a higher wind speed to bring them higher. Oh, they were breathtaking. It's, you know, it always amazes me. Hour ago. We start, don't we, with this blank canvas, and the story no. is yet to be written. And as it goes on, the adventure that develops. Wow. Regan and I start off, and we're relatively normal. And as the competition goes through, we are screaming, we're Jumping shouting. Jumping all over the desk, <laughs> banging off the walls. Come on! Having to come be told on. to sit down. <laughs> wow. Love it. It's good to be back here in Bahrain. Yeah. Doesn't seem like a year ago, does it? We were no, sat in this very room. No, I know it was the same same room. Watching, uh, well, it was a uh, not not as big as this. This is a, a true world meet. Yeah, it was it? a shakedown event for this, wasn't yeah. it? It was the the, the the flight fighters, 2017 here in Bahrain, and uh, put together as a, a test of this World Cup. Uh, a, lot, a lot of effort into this event. Gravity Absolutely. has with with three actual events. The first one being the first Arab Cup they did in the May of that year was their first major televised uh, competition to get the feel of the logistics. And so that, and then the flight fighters, and here we are now. So a lot of effort, a lot of timing, a lot of preparation has gone into bring this to you. Hope, hope you enjoy it. Blake Cullen now with uh, a glimpse behind the curtain of his power we've had in the last few moments with those incredible spins just down the bottom of the so, net. So we have a lot of different types. Not necessarily female, we've got some graceful, very graceful men where it's almost ballet-like. Yes. Uh, and same, you know, it, it could be easy to assume gender roles here and say the men might be more powerful but absolutely not true one good example of that in the junior category is Kaylee Wittenberg yeah. she is such a powerful flyer uh, but then on the other hand we have people like Maya and yeah. Coralie who are the more graceful flyers seeing Kaylee at 100% just like a pencil in the middle incredible control and power now, it got listed here on the schedule, uh, Abraham Hadawadi, UAE. Uh, obviously not, he's not there right now. This looks like, is it Eloise? Eloise Brown, Australia? It Elise. It is, it's Elise Brown yes. from Australia. Now, I've not seen Elise fly. I've Me seen neither. her around a little bit. I think Entrance. Yes, that back bending bridge and homage to the work of Amy Watson there. I believe that uh, actually Elise has had some coaching from Inca. Okay. Uh, 
It's so hot right now, Very Ellen. nice. She's so in control. Nice head up splits. And the... Earlier as well. Don't forget to post your pictures wherever you might be watching right now. Hashtag WCIS 2018. We'll give you a shout out. Get your pictures online. Get them on Instagram. And Apologise. <laughs> Who is it? Let's make it up. Let's make it up. That's, that's what I used to do. Yeah, when I was DJ. John Smith from. Big birthday shout out to Julie Brown. You get a big round of applause from the audience. It's great. <laughs> Nobody knows there's anybody there. So Elise practicing that entrance again. It's an interesting exit uh, entrance, isn't it? It's it really is. So <laughs> back bend into the tunnel. As she back bends, she will feel the uh, the air pushing on her back. Letting that gently lift her off. Back into that side flying. Good shot there of the all. Full. Nice control. Just Yeah, they were flying. I had a quick check of the live stream. I was, I was waking up this morning at 6.30 just to see if it was uh, on, on test mode, and it was, and there was people in there. Very early, yes. early flying. Any moves that they might be finding more difficult? adding extra pressure as well as sorting out you know the uh, the competitors are wearing phones it's usually tucked down the back uh, the transmitter is then the tunnel also has a transmitter so the music is played externally and in the competitors ears beautiful Step taking music into the tunnel. Of course, famously competed by the very first time by Canadian freestyler Lisa. Good morning, Lisa. The, the first person to ever fly freestyle to music. We love Lisa, don't we? We do, we do. We love, I love her very much indeed. Regan does love her very <laughs> much indeed. Naif Al Sumain in the tunnel now. Sorry, no, it's changed. That was a bad graphic there. We have. Uh, Jen. So I haven't actually seen Jen we fly yet. But head down spin into an incredible amount of breakers there. So freestyle really is this opportunity show. Uh, front tuck spin. Sounds like we can hear some music out there. Yeah, I wonder if that's just the... We have a DJ as well, great DJ. She was here last year too. Uh, I wonder if that's just what she's playing to the, the people or if that's actually part of the routine. We'll find out during the competition, of course. It's all in the speed check. Great use of the windows there with all the... As you can see in the bottom left of the screen now. And in the windows... That logo has been used with the flags, the national and bringing together of so many different. Everybody's been training in their, you know, their respective countries. A lot of people will travel to go to different tunnels. Kind of almost qualities of. So I found out a little tunnel fight this morning. Yeah, 
and he was saying, did you know that... Oh, don't. I know, it's scary, <laughs> isn't it? Fair. I was like, what? He said, yeah, that's that. I mean, Isn't imagine it? if you were doing some of these flips and spins and yes. you went a little bit too low. Yes, down you, you go. You could just fall. Bizarre things is standing on the net and looking down. Well, I did that when he was telling me, and I did, it's a long way, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Because a long normally way. when I'm in the tunnel, you're flying away, you know, you just do your thing. You don't think you're actually uh, <laughs> just in the middle of this massive open chamber. So now we have got. It's good to have a Dubai competitor here in the championships here in this World Cup. Abraham Halawidi. Again, a beautiful shot there of the interior of this building. Great, lovely use of light and colour. That's a great setup here as well. We've got the uh, the audience, spectators sitting just sort of below where the camera is. We've got a raised, almost stage, what would you call it? Sort of stage seat. So busy up there. Bean bags down on the floor. Ibrahim showing us what we Helmet on, so everything is wholly reliant on. Learn as you go along. to okay. six zero two gone high there after a, a compulsory rounds flyer original bravo is part of the uh, the team there And a space lab, and uh, I can't remember. I'm a big, even now when I first started working on Pure Bravo in 2004, and Marco was always around every day, and then we had those iconic videos from Bruno Brooken in the early 90s uh, when I first started skydiving of Marco in competition, world championships in Spain, in that beautiful white suit. Freestyle. Just join. The twenty fifth of October. at this championships, this World Cup, beautiful colours there. With a little gift at the end of the event, thank you very much, beautiful colours and sight on there. And now, Naif al Solmain. Okay, and we're looking Be the FS expert through all the four way formation skydiving. 
Leslie Gale. Content with whoever she can find during the breaks. It is a dream team. Continues. Throughout this island, like magazines as well, on the way to Barry. How do you feel about that, Emma, having your name and your face on? such a cool girl. I mean, yeah. we met her last year at Flight Fighters. She's... So around where the spectators... ...being one of them. Yes. Uh, she's in a sort of sitting down, stretch. Uh, I think she's and there, there she is there, just in the corner of the shot, just queuing herself up, ready to go. So Fatima was wearing a blue suit last year, uh, same suit that um, the Gravity team, uh, Ben, Roan and Garth Lewis, they yes. will be wearing the blue suits this year. Uh, I think Fatima will be competing in a black suit this year. Yep, she's been training in a black suit the last few days, that's what she's wearing right now, in the doorway, ready to go. She is a great girl, I mean, we're, as we're driving in, the amount of times we've seen her face, she really is everywhere. We've stopped at traffic lights, so I've got Adam to wind down. Hands on her head. Days yeah. to train. Uh, sort of backwards exit there. Entrance, sorry. Head up spin. Out in Australia, he's asking what time the speed checks are for the four-way. Simon, <gasps> they were this morning. No. Oh. Yeah, bright and early. They're all done. We're. Coming in again. I'm man of space life. Side flying really beautifully done there, Fatima. Her skill level is just going up and up. Front leg. So the one I've not seen yet from this compulsory round is Thomas Flair into head down split. I don't. That's one little fact I don't know, actually. That's one fact. I'm not sure. I'm Does anyone know? Somebody, somebody somewhere must There'll know. There'll be somebody sat at home going, hey, It's me! It's, it's Thomas me. Blair! <laughs> My name is...
know that. We all know that. <laughs> Send us a message through on Facebook. Hashtag WCIS2018. Skill on a television. Useful flying from. Amberly fly before. Have you seen her in competition before? I haven't. It's a very good point you just made there about Fatima. She came through the door. She did look very like she could read so much, can't you? It's a great shot we have here from this camera in the uh, near the door. There you can really. As they come out or as they're getting in, just where they feel, where their excitement level is. Well, I think I, you know, I, I was speaking to Fatima the other day and I said, you know, you just look so cool and so calm. And, and I wrongly assumed that she didn't get nervous and she, she very. I think she's calm and collected on the outside, but inside, as soon as the competition hits, those nerves kick right in. Yeah. So up next, do we have do we have we have either Amberly Brown or Lucas Lackey? So Lucas Lackey uh, from Hungary. He just gets taller and taller and taller. I uh, know. Every time you see him, he's got another meter. Oh, he's, he's having to bend down well, to yeah. get in the door. <laughs> what if? Oh. Tiny 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 live. Uh, Leo, Leo Volkov, yep. uh, Leo, an um, absolutely incredible flyer with such a unique style. Uh, I believe that Lucas has also recently been coached by. Absolutely. Routine people. Let's see if we go. Yes, there you go. Nice and close now to the action. It's good to see. flying it's good to get close in uh, that's Lucas telling the driver what airspeed he would like he's looking so in control I mean there's a lot of a lot of arm and leg to control there Space nice. Devils SC. What do we know? What they, I'm trying to think what that SC. I must find out about that actually. I mean, the Space Devils is this uh, group of company, this performing company they've got with Amy and with uh, Lucas and Coralie, and um, there's quite a few of them in there, isn't there? Yeah. It? So I think yeah. So it's kind of a, a, a youth um, flying club. The SC. I wonder if that's a new sponsorship deal they've got or something. We'll have to look into that. We will have to look into. Again, that. if you do know, send us a message. 608 Hungary, Lucas Lackey practicing these starts of his routine. He's really coming out of himself, Lucas, isn't he? He's, uh, it's been great to sort of get to know him a little bit more yeah. this competition. He's such a nice guy. There are <laughs> there's such a group of these young flyers now. They're all, they're, you know, they're really surprising in their maturity. And... <laughs> to hear them talk about flying, to hear them talk about something, you know, that they invest so much time into, really is a lifestyle for these kids. It is. That's a really good expression for it. And it's, um, you know, they, they, they live and breathe this sport. Beautiful head down spin there. Uh, they live and breathe this sport. And, you know, a lot of their main friendships come from this. Yeah. And there is a really tight group of friends. I know a few of them went out for dinner recently. I think Amy... Amy Watson, Kira. Uh, yeah, Kira Nishan, uh, Lucas Lackey, Maya. Yeah, they seem to be doing something every night. The first night they all went for dinner. Last night they were all go karting. Yeah, it's making me feel exhausted. Yeah, yeah they go karting. Fatima as well. Uh, looks like Amberly Brown is up next from the USA. I don't know her. I've not spoken to her, uh, but she's just always got a big smile on her face. 
just seen Julian De Bruca walk past the studio, giving us a smile and a wave. Haven't it, we, it's Megan? good to see Julian here. He's been following these events <laughs> for years. He's been saying, I'll, one day I'll be there, I'll be there, I'll be there on the main stage with you guys. And here he is. Oh. Amberly, Amberly Brown, I've not seen her either yet. So no. it's good to get a first look at what Amberly's got to offer. So with some of these teams, you know, they have been here for the training. It's not that they've not been training, but because the tunnel is running 24 hours a day, some of the training times are, you know, 3 a.m., 4.30 a.m. Yeah. And yeah. we don't want to be up watching at that time. So we've gone to bed and these teams are still training hard. The gravity staff are here 24 hours a day. They are. It's not, yeah, it's, it is absolutely incredible. And we've actually got some of the gravity staff. We've got, uh, you know, Garth Lewis, um, George Papadeus, and Kate uh, Elena. Yeah. They are all working here, but also competing uh, in two-way dynamic, all three of them, actually. Amberly's looking beautiful. That head-up spin, really nice. That's Manners Space Lab. So what the judges will be looking for there, they're gonna be looking for the center line, which we mentioned earlier. So the flyer will need to stay right in the center of the tunnel, also stay on level. So by that, I mean not going, not flying up, not flying down, uh, and taking four steps evenly spaced around in a circle. Head down, spin. Nice clean exit out of the tunnel. Amberly Brown, USA competitor 609. There, we have another entrance. Let's look. There's that yellow line, Emma, that straight line from the middle of the tunnel out through there the door. There we are. That's yeah. a nice view. So, that yellow line, that's called the center line. So, there it is. very important line for freestyle. So, these are the compulsory rounds that are being shown moment but in these speed setting rounds these you know these flyers can choose what to do we just saw a 360 barrel roll stall so again as the rounds go on as we go through these compulsory rounds we will be explaining all of these moves in each round what the judges will be looking for uh, it will all be made very clear to you it's a constant debate backwards and forwards amongst the community isn't it Emma, how they want to uh, progress with the f with the uh, rounds in freestyle with the compulsories, yeah. you know, they're looking at different ways of doing that. And interesting how the sport is always developing. Absolutely. And, well, you know, with the length of the compulsory rounds as well. So as this is an FAI competition, uh, the compulsory rounds are 45 seconds each and the free rounds are one minute each. Yes. Oh, Katia Toussaint, just... She is just a lovely. Like they came from nowhere. I remember when she first started getting into the tunnel and working in the tunnel, and the next thing you know, she's completely. Oh, she's amazing. Actually, what she happened? was telling me he was. Uh, they do a lot of skateboarding. Yeah. So as soon as she told me, I said, oh, is it, is it skateboarding? <laughs> she said, yes. Just exited the tunnel. It looks, oh, no, it doesn't look like she's changing the speed. So perhaps she's doing another compulsory round here. You know, she, she's bang on. She's exactly where the judges will be looking for, but they will also be looking for. See that. Let's 
So it is that view that the judge is going to have, that center line view through the yellow line. Head up spin. Side flying. Katia is so in control of her flying. She's so passionate about her flying. She and great performance from there from uh, Katia. Wasn't the score she wanted, but it was great to see her out there. See the lights flashing there. That's a sort of a warning to the flyer that it's time for them to get out of the tunnel. Next, we've got so, yeah. So Tom's turned up to Flight Fighters last year, yeah, which we were watching, and he. So full of energy. So Tom's is used to flying in a, an open tunnel, yeah. which is, well, it doesn't have walls, so no, they are right. outdoors. He was saying he loves sort of the scenery, the outdoorness, and he was saying the transition to coming into this tunnel, or any tunnel, any indoor tunnel really, is he almost feels caged. Right. So it was kind of having to learn to fly again in a different way with walls. Something to crash into, I guess. Not yes. that Tom's does a whole lot of that. No. All new stuff from him here. Get big, powerful spins and moves. <laughs> he just goes for it, doesn't he? So, do you know, Regan? A uh, good fact about Tom's. Tom's has actually been uh, coaching Tom Cruise. Really? Uh, for a movie, yeah. A new one? Um, it's gone out of my head at the moment <laughs> what movie it was. I know it's the one that uh, Milko and done? Sean yeah, were the working Mission on Possible. as well, yeah. yeah. We'll be flying to the Mission Impossible music. They built a whole new brand tunnel for that. I know, he was tunnel. in uh, London where, where a whole new, whole new brand tunnel. A whole new brand tunnel. <laughs> yeah, almost English, that wasn't it? <laughs> almost. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, Tom's has uh, worked with Tom Cruise. He's absolutely amazing. Tom's is just someone that, he's, a, he's you know, the crowd know him. The crowd, yes. it's, he's one of those people that kind of came from nowhere. Uh, Staying nice and level. Can't see the centre line at the moment. Tomorrow, October 26th, starting at Sunday, October 28th at 9 a.m. We won't miss a beat. We'll bring you every bit of. Live from here, Gravity Indoor. Give us a shout out wherever you are around the world. Don't forget. E I S 2018. Those, those switches. Stalls it and then goes in the other direction. That head up spin as well. And only post a girl. Ishen competing in, uh, well, do. Way dynamic, which is up next. You can see just at the other side of the tunnel outside, we can see Amy Watson sitting on a
So I was actually able to have a little sneaky listen of this uh, the song that yeah, Kira's you told flying me. to. Yes. It is stunning. Again, side flying, but look at the control oh, of that. So not only is she doing those head down spins, she's also got her hands behind her back, uh, decreasing the stability. And she's going very fast on those. She's using a lot of the tunnel. Flexibility. These young flies have got to have a lot of, well, all the flies have got to have a lot of stamina as well. Yes. Uh, the Paul just really stunning and breathtaking every time you see her, whether it be in training and competition, speed test. She just looks so in control, doesn't she? Yeah. A lot of support for Kira from uh, all of her Singapore family. Beautiful head up spin there. Oh, I had a spin with one bent leg. That was nice. And did you notice there with, with the proximity to that center line, just not moving an inch? Absolutely. So you can see a lot of the time she is facing the judges who are on the left of the tunnel. Oh, great view of the center line there. Let's hold that center line for a moment. Let's see this entrance and just see her control on that center line. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> that entrance was amazing. Whoa. One foot there at the top of the archway. Okay, so can you see how her body is staying bang in the center? So the center line gives us that sort of reference for, you know, how on target she is. These, yeah. This is the view that the judges are going to be seeing. Straight down that yellow line. There it is. As I yeah. said, look at the man of space lab through there, Emma. That wow. was beautiful. Oh, so we really need to calm down. It's one of the speeds. Oh, no, okay. I know. I know, Regan, what we're going to be like by, uh, <laughs> by Sunday. It's going to be crazy. Hold back. I can't hold back. <laughs> so there was the full twist wow. sequence. And the lights flashed. Obviously, she's fitted in a free routine and two compulsory rounds there. She's squeezing it all in. Who do we have next? Well, uh, we should have, I think it's going to be Sebastian. Sebastian. Ah, Sebastian. So I have interviewed Sebastian. Yes. Really, really nice guy from Canada. Is it, yeah, it's Sebastian. But I've not actually seen him fly yet. So you've got Maya Kaczynska in the background from Flyspot Poland. We were in Canada this time last year at Montreal Sky Venture for the uh, World Championships of Indoor skydiving this day is actually it was this week when we were there so good oh, really Can yeah good canadian influence here we have now yeah i've got a lot of uh, canadian flyers we've got Coralie, malachi sebastian yeah. Yeah. guillaume uh -huh. oh guillaume will be coming up i believe in a couple of couple of flyers time you interviewed him as well with your amazing <laughs> um, catalog of uh, those print interviews, the Tunnel Tales. Yes, Tunnel yeah, Tales they on are Facebook. Really super. Thank well you done very them. much, Regan. So it's kind of finding out a little bit more about the competitors, but more of a sort of a quirkier interview, finding out, asking some different questions. Yeah, we really are developing an incredible production team now with Leslie Gale out on the uh, roving interviews and Emma with her in-depth quirky little print interviews as well and then emma and ray of course in the studio with their disciplines and of course regan tetlow the man who brings it all together like the cake mixer <laughs> oh regan the cake mixer that's what they call there me there we go that is what they call you it's very catchy regan the cake mixer some lovely flying here from sebastian We seem to have quite a high percentage of black suits this year. There seems to be blacks coming back. Absolutely, yeah. We went sort of through a phase of there was a lot of white suits. A yeah. lot of the freestyle girls have white suits. Love Sylvia Lack. Ah, oh, go on then, Regan. 
way off her legs. It likes to become this. I like it. Me too, me I too. I like it, Alan Watson, you genius. Yeah, back to Sebastian. <laughs> back to Sebastian. Useful flying. If you just joined us, a very good morning. Hours, we're live in Bahrain. It's just gone 1 p.m., 1.15, uh, 1.05 now. Just a time check. 13.06 here on a Thursday afternoon. And it's a speed check rounds for the World Cup of Indoor Skydiving here in Bahrain. With myself, Regan Tetlow, and Emma Matakola. Hello. So, um, I've nearly said Regan's exit. <laughs> Sebastian's exit from the tunnel there was absolutely brilliant. It was up high and kind of flipped down and flipped out the door. I really like that, Sebastian. Next up, we've got Sylvia Lackner. Now, uh, Sylvia earlier in the year using that great track from Netsky Rio is stuck in my iPod now for <laughs> months and months and months. <laughs> so, she's not using it this year, unfortunately. It's a shame. So, Sylvia Latner representing Slovakia. Slovakia, you must be very proud because this girl can fly for sure. Beautiful, graceful. Yeah, working out down in Madrid. Great talent. Nice personality as well. Very really nice. Like a lot of these competitors are, Emma. Like a giant family as well. I mean, you know, yeah. you know we'll all refer to it as our, our tunnel family. And coming away to these events, it's it's hard work it's long days but it's worth it it's yeah, just can, another world they can be long days big long days last uh, last month and uh, this, this I can't. I think Regan. we'll manage to be after our 15 hour stints. Regan, we who does? <laughs> uh, Re I mean, Regan. Isn't it traveling the world? How many? And, and I see on, Rega on Regan's Facebook. He feels like nobody's business. So, it's what are you on now, Regan? It's been a crazy year. To get here to Bahrain was flight number 76 this year. I think this is. Uh, Xinjiang in China, so that's going to be quite amazing too. So I posted a picture on Facebook of Regan and I getting ready for our our comment. Stunning, and Regan replied, "Thanks, Thanks love. love. <laughs> I've had a wash." Regan is looking stunning today. Shiny. From the soul. <laughs> so, spin, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, a lot of these competitors I've not seen since then. She has stepped it up. She really has. Yeah. She's, uh, it looks a lot more technically difficult. Back to Canada now with Gihon. him yesterday uh, great suit look at that wow eight years i believe yeah. competing for six years Guillaume is uh, a really nice guy. Speak. 
go at that. Pause in yeah. between each step. So they well what the, the rules specify so Imagine. around that third three and one, two, three, four, sort of twelve uh oh, ninety gosh. degrees. Nine o'clock, twelve o'clock, three o'clock, yeah. six o'clock. Sometimes we do this, don't oh. we? You, you can't. For the wide eyes. It's good fun. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to be here with Emma and Ray and with <laughs> Leslie outside. It's going to be a full on exciting time. Home here. It is the first bit of action we've got for you here. They're checking the speed. And then his foot goes on the wall. So later we'll see that center line view later on. Amalia and we have got Amalia next. Amalia. I have ever met in very I've flown with Maya quite a lot at so looks like music the channel on her transmitter so the competitors have a transmitter that they wear doesn't seem to be working So it looks like Guillaume is exiting the tunnel while this gets sorted. And this is it with the live action. Sometimes things happen. There they Way. Uh, it took them it actually took them over 42 hours to travel to Bahrain as I think one flight was delayed yeah. and then they moved in Saudi they've not got the luggage yet it's not arrived no not not arrived but luckily uh, <laughs> Yes. pack their tunnel things in the chance this will happen because luggage does get lost drive side flying with one hand behind Yeah, it's all just glimpse of 
the action and of the routines as ourselves we've been here for a couple of days we're doing a lot of pre-production work and we found It's the first chance to see a glimpse behind the curtain of the already looking exciting. Right. In the tunnel here. Okay, it sounds like it's uh, sometimes on the Okay, uh, head up breaker there, head up 360. Whole stall, that yeah. Nice, Regan. He is amazing. Exit as well, another very calm. She is so lovely. Okay, next up, we've got Maya. Yeah, our Poland. first look. First look at Maya now. This um, this event. So I think Maya had some training, wow. but it was at 4:30 a.m. This head up move we've seen from a few people. So many elements in to the one hundred eighty side fly. Oh, I really like this. Yes, nice move. The, uh, yeah, in the freestyle. Absolutely. Yep. It's very fast here. It is. So I'm excited to see what uh, music Maya chooses uh, for her free routine. She often has quite a catchy song. Maya's videos will often go viral. 50 million views, 60 million views. Regan, it's going to be so exciting to watch these two music, isn't it? It's going to be mind-blowingly fantastic. <laughs> Talking of viral views, there was one from Kirapol. Went crazy this last month uh, from Win Games. 10, 20 million views on that. Kira's been in the media a lot, actually, hasn't she? Looks yeah. like, I mean, Singapore are obviously incredibly proud of having such an amazing flyer. Kira and Ishan, absolutely. Swimming, did you know that? there interesting stuff lot of, lot
So wind is going up. Uh, so after this, we're going to be having the, uh, or in the tunnel, there will be the uh, dynamic two-way speed setting. So a great display there. In the next couple of days, Emma. Absolutely. Appetites. Uh, Regan and I get very, very. World, and we love it. Yeah, it's passionate and it's intense action. You can really feel it as well from the athletes and from the people watching back. We've got the live live stream starting tomorrow at eight a.m. and then on Saturday. Roaming around with the interview.
I'ma tell you the flying feels like rock. You gotta know. I'm sure you like flying feels like like rock. Flying feels like I'm being truly active. Like having superpowers. I have no limits. Feels like. There are many people. And when the time and place are set, the drama builds. Teams come to. World Cup of Indoor Skydiving, October 2018 at Gravity Bahrain. And a very good afternoon. It's 25 past one here in Bahrain. We've been watching the live stream of the freestyle speed checks here this uh, afternoon. I'm a great. She's got for us right now. Ray, good afternoon. Hi, Regan. I can't hear you. <laughs> I feel very excited and also challenged and the speed set players here I mostly try to channel all my energy into progressing and not think about um, the achievements so I'm just gonna go in the competition and do my absolute best and then the only thing I can do from there is progress excellent have you changed your I taken some So, it's Bahrain. Have you ever been to Bahrain before? New trip? I have never been to Bahrain before. <laughs> what do you think of uh, It's the same for everyone when they come to a new tunnel, so we all just have to do our best. <laughs> and how many Norwegian teams do we have competing here this year? We have two Norwegian teams, <laughs> a two-way team from Bath with Druna and I. I think your mum's here and uh, what? your mum is here as well. Yes, my mum is here as always. She's always coming to the competitions to support. And uh, Eric's girlfriend and uh, Bruna's girlfriend and son. So we're a big crowd together. The big Norwegian family are here. Uh, yeah. So next, what do you, do you have? Talk to me a little bit about the competition. What do you have coming up and planned? Talk to me a little bit about the competition. Um, compulsory and the free round is uh, the one that we choreograph ourselves on the 60 seconds
Sunday we have to again because I love watching you fly. We are like family. This is great. She is like my little sister. It's fantastic. This is uh, you're my little sister. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm your little. You're my big. Great little chat there with Amalia, Emma, great competitor. Oh, isn't Amalia lovely? Ray's yeah. lovely. Pushing those boundaries. Yeah, we saw the great little practice. When was the first time you saw her flying, actually? I think. Um, I'm your number one fan. Yeah. And, you know, that still stands to this day. She is just, that girl is just wonderful. She just blows my mind. Quite a, an iconic stable of talent up there in Norway as well at Voss. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're going to go down to Leslie Gale with uh, another one of our guests. Leslie, good morning. Or good afternoon, should I say. So it's, I'm really happy to be here. Nervous too. I start to get those shivers I was talking to you about. Don't worry, all the best competitors get nervous. Support. Well, um, it gives me the opportunity to You know, I really had time to And speaking of moves, you were just saying you need to explain something to the to the judges. Could you explain that to the people? This kind hanging of around. So it's kind of losing control and going back into head up but it's actually wanted and it fits on one part of the music so i would like it happens for the for the people at home the freestylists they're not just making it up and pointing their toes and waving every move is is carefully choreographed and they explain it to the judges so the judges know exactly what the competitor is intending and then they're judging them on the technical performance and also on, the, on their presentation <laughs> So uh, that's the last flight for you before the competition, Katya. Do you feel... Um, I think I'm ready. I think you're ready too. I'm sure you're going to be... Video. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Leslie. Thanks, sir. Um, hula hoops. Tell me a bit about that. Uh, well, uh, you know, so obviously the free free rounds are comprised of um, the, you know, whatever the the competitor wants to show. Yeah. Um. So, Katty was saying that she wants to put in hula. We had legs swinging around, but she doesn't want it to look unintentional. Yes. So. Um, this is both in uh, two-way dynamic and also in freestyle. Uh, so what they do is they will explain to the judges what they plan to do. Uh, and I guess, you know, one of the purposes is freestyle that they have technically learned.
conversation twist. Yeah. So, and also, what what? Coaching from various different coaches. Uh, you know, they may. those ideas and that's what makes our sport grow and it keeps does. pushing it forward Ray. hi Regan I have Coralie and Malachi I have Coralie I Malachi, you have the microphone Ellie Boudreau and I'm 15 we're both junior freestylers yeah, and and I hear. So I'll take the mic now. Both compete together as well in two-way dynamics. Is that right? Uh, we were going to, but then there's not enough people to make the junior category, so we will be competing in the future. Yeah. Um, I really don't know. I saw a lot of good flyers, and I think it's going to be very hard, and um, it's going to be a good competition. Have you been training hard? Because I'm watching your flying, and it's. Yeah, I've been training on the free, or is there a specific focus you have for this? Um, I've been focusing more on the free routine and the compulsory, but I, I really uh, try to do my best for all the routines. There's been a lot of talk about the. rounds so it's probably a little bit more based on that but still a good amount on compulsories I, I can see like um, with all of you guys amongst especially amongst the juniors there's a lot of camaraderie you guys I didn't understand sorry so we kind of like we spend a, a, a lot of time all of you guys together Like a, it's a big flying family, and everyone know each other, and it's very fun. Um, and uh, during the competition, we get to see each other together. Even if we compete against each other, we we're all friends. Yeah. Thinking about it, that people like competing because they get to see all the people in the flying community more than the actually competing part. So, to, for you guys, what now you've done a little bit of two-way as well, the dynamic. What's your favorite? Is it freestyle or two-way dynamic? It's my favorite. Fun, but just a little. Speed rounds and have a teammate so it's really fun too. You can learn They're both saying that they prefer the freestyle to the dynamic. Yeah and I guess you know but then there's a lot of teams that do prefer the, the dynamic and that's it you know yeah. it takes But yeah. them on the you know on the world stage yeah. essentially because yeah. we've got the live stream uh, it's about them and if there's a mistake you know it puts it back on them we're used to doing freestyle to then have to put their trust in one of the person right you know so that's the the the, the, the dynamic of yeah. the two-way dynamic yeah. teams yeah. You know, some people like having a, a buddy there sort of to make it easier, take a bit of the, the fall when it does go wrong. Um, but it is that you've got to heavily, heavily trust your teammate. 
you also have to share your talent as well. In yeah. any team, there's going to be somebody uh, who's more experienced with the other. And when you're a competitor at this level of competition, especially in a freestyle when it's a solo event, yeah. you're giving it all, then you go into a dynamic where you've really got to share your talent. If you're the stronger competitor, you've got to, you know, you've got to... They're going in and they're doing a two. Well, incredible stuff. Let's go down to Leslie Gale and see who she has for us. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Regan. Well, I'm joined here by some people from Team USA. We have Blake Cullen with his amazing biceps and Amberly Brown with her amazing hair. They're both freestylers. So, how did the practice go for you then, Amberly? It felt really well, uh, especially because I was able to fly an hour before the speed check, so that really helped a lot. You feel uh Flying, but I stopped in Amsterdam to give myself a break. So, as the time change, I feel like I've adjusted finally. So, cool. And what got you into? T into After at iFly, you always have to fly a demo, and it really just. I really got to be creative with everything that I've trained in my life as far as dance and jujitsu and surf. Like, I just got to bring all these things that I... ...its own, it feels like. I think that's a really beautiful way to put it because if you're a gymnast, a trampolinist, a dancer or whatever, there's always these limits of gravity and then when you're in there, there's, there's no limit. You can be as free as you like, right? That's exactly. And I've always wanted to be a gymnast. Being able to do a flip twist in the tunnel is like dreams come true. Well, you look beautiful in there. Oh, so Blake, this is a... This is their videos so I'm helping them out team crucible you can find their videos at Dusty Shaw on YouTube yeah <laughs> Everyone's super cool. Is this your first time in, a, in an FAI competition? Yes. Well, I did one competition in America to qualify for this. Um, and this is my first international. Yeah, this is my first one, so. Wilson, um, there's just so many, and flyers from the past that don't fly anymore, but even like people that petition so much, because you just see all the different ways to do something, all the unique styles, uh, it's really amazing. That's awesome. Well. Blake, Amberly, I wish you have a really good competition. Let's hope T Team USA rocks. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you, Leslie, with Blake, Amberly as well. Emery, it's, it's quite refreshing to see some new people out on the circuit who are not coming through as, as children, as eight, nine, ten year olds. That we've kind of got accustomed to that now, haven't we? Absolutely. And we heard Amberly say there, actually, that she is an instructor at iFly. You know, she started by doing the demos, which is uh, when the first time flyers come and fly in the tunnel. Yeah. Um, and at the end, the instructor will do a, a demo, which is going to get the, you know, sort of hook the first time flyers into wanting to carry on, wanting to improve, wanting to be like that. But we also heard Blake there mention, you know, that he's inspired by some of the other flyers in the competition. So Reese Wilson and Tom Zyvans. Yes. And, 
you know, that's, I think that's great being able to fly with, you know, the flyers that inspire you. And I guess that links back to what we were saying earlier about yeah. sort of magpieing those ideas, borrowing the ideas, letting each other's ideas and routines push you on. And that's how the sport develops, isn't it? It certainly does. Great to see some new faces here on the scene. Going to be an exciting four days. If you just joined us, it is the speed test morning here at Gravity with uh, me and Emma for this World Cup of Indoor Skydive. We're going to go back to Ray Ahmed. Hi, Regan. I am here with my favourite Cabrindian. That's it. Canadian, British, Indian, as I like to call him. This is Hari from Team ACM. Hi there. So uh, tell me, Hari, ACM, you guys have been competing indoors for some time. Yeah, we're on our uh, sort of a, about a third season now of, uh, of indoor flying, um, all open four-way. We've had um, you know a few different three different coaches, a couple of different people that have come in and out of the lineup. But um, yeah, we've had a, a, a solid four of us for a full season this year, and uh, uh, two full-time coaches. So um, yeah, no complaints. It's been really good. You're gonna smash everybody out of the park in this competition, yeah? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Uh, we're only in competition with ourselves for this one. Yeah. yeah. So you guys kind of going for some sort of average? Yeah, we've got we've got we've got a number in mind. Um, I don't want to I don't want to think too much about the number, but we definitely want to improve from from uh, European Championships in Voss earlier this year and from Bedford Challenge in uh, in the UK this year. So in Voss, I remember that you guys had a few hiccups and you didn't get the the average that you wanted. I think. Yeah, it was it was a tough one for us because we didn't have uh, a, a lot of time prepping for um, a um, uh, I guess a, a sided uh, 14 foot tunnel, and we're a very tall team. But uh, we've had um, we've had about six hours of training now in a 14 foot round, and um, yeah, we're feeling we're feeling much more comfortable in, in the 14 foot tunnel. The entrances are are still a challenge here uh, with the dropout in the door, but. Um, but it's the same for all teams, right? So, yeah. I mean, I was watching a uh, Hayabusa earlier, and I could, um, I could really see that as they were getting into the tunnel, they were literally stretching out, especially Dennis on the back, stretching out to catch as much. Yeah. So, so we we had the same we had the same problem when we when we started here a few nights ago, and, um, but yeah, uh, you know, all the teams are going to have to go through it, and, and we've had to we've had to do a little bit more adjustment in our in our entrances, and I think we're we're more comfortable now with it. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So onwards and upwards, and another fight, I imagine, with the girls as well, with an FTO, a big UK uh, fight off, as I like to call uh, it. Possibly. Um, <laughs> I'm not staring at all. No, no, you, you can stare as much as you'd like. Uh, we hope the ladies do just as well as we do. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yep. And um, of the other teams in the FS category in the, court, in the Open, um, who do you think is a standout? There's a lot of competition here, right? There, there is. Um, there's a lot of teams that were in Norway are here as well. So um, I think for us, uh, the, the the Italians are here. They've always been a, a good competitor of ours. Uh, the Swedish. Um, I'm not sure if the Qatari team is here, but they've always been a step up. Um, the Russian team that was in Norway, I believe, are here as well. So I believe we should have a pretty good battle over with, with those teams. The, I've been watching the French Odin, Odin's team, and uh, I've been seeing them training as well a little bit in other tunnels, and uh, they look really strong. I mean, I don't think they were competing in Voss, but, you know. Uh, I, don't, I don't think they competed in Voss, but they competed in Bedford this year. So uh, we, I think we, uh, we saw them in, in Puria this year when we were training a little bit over there too, but... Um, yeah, well, well, we'll see how they do. I haven't seen them fly since, so. So my next, my probably my final question for you, Harry, is, is this team ever going to take it outdoors? <laughs> uh, there are uh, there are plans for that um, in the not so distant future. So we'll 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 see. We're, let's let's finish this competition first. This is the end of our season coming up. So. Yeah. Last question. Go through all of the course signs for the team quickly. Um, so day, uh, sorry. So Fletch is Iceman. Uh, Will is Merlin, uh, Gareth is Ice, no, sorry, Fletch is Ice, Gareth is Slider, um, Dave is, I can't remember Dave's at the moment, but, uh, and <laughs> I'm Maverick. <laughs> this is Harry I, sorry, from Dave. ACM. <laughs>
signing out. Back to you, Regan. Thank you very much, Ray. Thank you very much, Harry. I noticed when they were training, uh, Emma, that they've got a Tuttle uh, com a sponsor on the back of their suit. And now an interesting thing, uh, it's a French tunnel and they're an English team. So I don't think I've seen that kind of mix before. No, okay. So yeah. that was ha on, on Harry's, on the back of Harry and ACM oh, on, suit. On, yeah, on all the suits. Okay. Yeah. We'll uh, ask you about that when we get yeah. the, uh, the opportunity. So Harry, he's been, um, I, I always think of him as being a new competitor, as being new on the circuit. He's probably been jumping and uh, tunnel flying now for so many years. But to me, he always seems like this uh, fresh kid on the block. But he's so enthusiastic, isn't he? He's yeah. such a he's, he's a funny guy. He's great to talk to. Yeah. You know, the whole of the ACM team, they are they're lovely. You know, they're really good guys. Fletch, uh, Dave, you know, it's they're a lot of fun. They are a refreshing team and, you know, from the UK as well. Yeah. A lot of people have only just arrived overnight. I know uh, Maria uh, Russell only arrived not many hours ago. She's going to be uh, training in the tunnel very soon. She's a really bouncy character, Maria. It's always good to see her here live in all the competitions worldwide. Taking a lot. She does a lot of athletic stuff as well with marathons and Ironmans and everything. Yeah. It is live action here this afternoon. We've had the training speed rounds of the freestyle. We're going to go back to Leslie Gale. And I'm delighted to be here with Team R&B, which is Rick and Bastian from Team Holland. How did your practice go? Uh, our practice went pretty well. It's the uh, first time flying in this tunnel, so getting used to the visuals and to the airflow, but pretty decently, yeah. So you, you just did the practice at the speed setting, or, or have you trained in this tunnel at least a little before you came, uh, when you came here? Okay, so we came in last night around 1 o'clock. So the speed setting was our first uh, moment of getting used to the tunnel. So we did a bit of all of it, trying to get used to the wind speed in the speed routines, trying to get a feel for our free routine, get the visual for the free routine as well. So trying to compress everything into like a three minute session. So pretty last minute.com. Yeah, we tried to book a tunnel time a few weeks ago, a few months ago actually, but the tunnel was booked solid. So a uh, bit of bad luck on our, our end, but uh, yeah. But they've been flying 24 hours since since Monday. It, it hasn't stopped, so that's the way it is. So what are your goals for the competition? Um, pretty much to have a good time. That's the main goal. It's uh, our first competition together, and um, we've been practicing for a half year now in a, between busy schedules. Uh, so we try to make the most of it, and that's pretty much where we're at. Yeah. Cool. So, Bastian, how did you guys get together? Well, um, Rick was already flying in a tunnel in Holland, uh, and recently I started flying also. And because uh, yeah, he was already in the sport, I met him in my home tunnel. And uh, yeah, we started flying together for a bit, and it uh, clicked. And here we are as a, as a team. Yeah. Awesome. So, do you have a coach? Um, well, we had some team coaching, yeah, um, by uh, Omar. Maybe you know him. He was at our home tunnel coaching uh, a bit for a Dynamic. Uh, and uh, the rest we uh, just trained ourselves, uh, especially the free routine. We had to uh, puzzle it together uh, two days ago. Uh, we finished it, so a uh, bit of a bit of a bit of a practice all only. And uh, yeah, now now we're here. I, I love that. It's a World Cup, and these guys made their routine up two days ago. <laughs> what can we look forward to seeing in the free routine then, Bastian? I mean, nothing special like all the pros here. Uh, we just, uh, have the, the main goal for us is to have fun and uh, get some experience competing. Um, and we just made a simple, basic free routine. Uh, nothing that we can mess up massively. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, we try our best. <laughs> and are you hoping to stay together and do more competitions in the future? Well, the plan was to, but uh, recently uh, I uh, uh, discovered, that, or discovered, we, I'm getting a baby soon. So I need to uh, maybe turn down on my uh, car uh, career goals in flying. Uh, but for sure, I'm going to be still flying, but maybe not as often uh, in competitions. That's awesome. So a little baby bastion on the way. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys want fun. I just hope that you have lots and lots of fun and hope everyone at home has fun too. I think we're back to Regan in the studio now. Thanks. Thanks very much, Leslie. Thanks very much, guys. Great to hear a Dutch accent there, Emma, the World Cup. We've got people from all over the world you forget sometimes, don't you? Absolutely. It looks like we've got uh, 
from checking my computer, it looks like we've got one dynamic two-way Dutch team and one four-way Dutch yeah. team. Mm -hmm. Now, these guys just make me laugh. They, I mean, you heard them then. They made up their free routine a couple of days ago. And actually, Bastian, who was standing on the left, the blonde one. Travel uh, problems. Some travel he problems. had travel problems. So on his way here, he got to the check-in desk. They said, passport, please. And he went... And he said oh. he just dropped through the floor. He had to get an emergency passport, beautiful pink emergency passport. Right. And thank goodness he's made it, Regan. Yeah, I could tell you some passport stories when we get a few moments. We're going to have a look at some of the highlights from the training here in Bahrain. Tuesday the 23rd of October, I'm Air Sports presenter Regan Tetlow here at Gravity Indoor Skydiving Bahrain and the preparations for the World Cup of Indoor Skydiving 2018 are on. We'll be back with the beginning of the action tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for the third FAI World Cup of Indoor Skydiving. Thanks for joining us from me and from Emma. We'll see you then.